And you're not playing a lute tonight, however. You're playing a Baroque guitar. Tell us a little bit about the okay. difference and, and what we have to look forward to. Okay, actually, aesthetically, in terms of the sound of the instrument, the Baroque guitar is closer to the lute than it is to the modern guitar. Uh, from the standpoint of the history of the instrument, of course, it's more related to the modern guitar. Um, the Baroque guitar has five courses of strings. The top string is single, four, and the other four are double. It has a narrower body than the modern guitar, is somewhat shallower, has string length that's a little bit less, and it's extremely lightly built. And being lightly built, uh, as is the lute, by the way, being lightly built, this means that the strings you put on the instrument can be quite uh, thin. Mm. That is, the instrument speaks with less tension than the modern guitar. Every modern instrument is heavier than its earlier counterpart. If you take the modern piano compared with the harpsichord, modern piano needs a whole uh, metal frame to hold the tension of the strings. Harpsichord has hardly any metal in it at all. Um, and it's the same with a modern guitar. Here you have a heavy instrument with more projection, and the, the Baroque guitar is much lighter and more delicate in sound, but can penetrate, can project very well, but it's a whole other aesthetic. It's, it's, it has more magic in the sound from my point of view. And you're playing a, a very well-known uh, guitar, a writer for the guitar, Gaspar Sanz. Let's, uh, tell us a little bit about the first piece we're going to hear. The first piece is called Marisapalos. And it's a set of variations on a very beautiful, lyrical uh, tune of popular origin. And Marisapolos actually is the name of a girl. And as the poem goes, Marisapolos was the most beautiful maiden in the village. She was the niece of the village priest. She was the flower of springtime. Marisapolos era muchacha, enamoradita de Pedro Martín. Por sobrina del cura estimada, la gala del pueblo, la flor de abril. And since we're in April now, it seems appropriate to play a piece about la flor de abril. <laughs> 